super easy breakfast recipe today. I'm going to be using a package of crescent rolls, some sausage. Um, I have here some Italian sausage. I don't have any breakfast sausage, but it's going to work just fine. Along with that, I'm going to scramble some eggs, then top it off with some cheese, and then bake it in the oven. Um, it's going to be flaky. It's like going to be a pastry. It's going to be a great breakfast. So I can't wait to show you how to make it. cooking back there and I'm gonna start making the eggs um, for this recipe you can use either five to six eggs so I'm probably gonna just use five just go ahead and crack them And whisk it up. Once this is all whisked, I'm gonna go ahead and scramble it up, so I'll see you in a minute. Okay, so I forgot to tell you guys one step. Preheat your oven to 400 degrees um, so that it's ready to go once we braid it. But I finished cooking off the sausage. I lined it on um, some paper towels just to drain all the oil and the grease out of it because we don't want that to seep into the dough and that'll make it really oily. Um, I have my scrambled eggs all cooked up here as well. I also actually um, used an egg and I'm gonna be making egg wash. So what we'll do is after we braid it, I'm gonna go ahead and just top it off with this so that it gets nice and golden and crispy on it. And then I have two types of cheese today. Um, I have mozzarella, I think it'll melt really well with that. And then I'm gonna blend it in with some, I wanted to use cheddar cheese, but I have like this taco mix instead. So um, I'm just gonna use that. Brandon loves cheese, he's very anti-egg, but ever since I made scrambled eggs and added like a good amount of cheese, he's pretty okay with it. So um, just go ahead and just use whatever you have. I also have a baking sheet that I lined with parchment paper so that um, we can go ahead and make the braid on top of that. Make sure you have a pizza cutter or a knife because we're going to need to actually make the lines to do the braid itself. So I'm going to show you how to put it all together.
guys, so it's finally done. It was in the oven at 400 degrees for about 15 minutes. I would say about the 12 minute mark. Make sure you keep an eye on it because you don't want the top to burn. But mine took about 15 minutes and look at how it turned out. It's so beautiful, I'm so excited. Um, I can't wait to slice into it to show you guys what's on the inside. Um, while that was baking though, I did throw a couple of hash browns into the air fryer. And then I also sliced up some fruit as well. So I have some blueberries and then some orange slices and some strawberries to go with it. So let's go ahead and cut into it and I'll show you how it turned out. All right, so I have the same pizza cutter. I'm gonna go ahead and just slice right into it. Be gentle because it is so nice and flaky and crispy yet soft on the inside. So this is what it looks like. Look at how brown good it is. I'm gonna go ahead and slice it up. And you know how I like to plate things. So I'm gonna go ahead and use this um, wooden cutting board to fancy it up a little bit. And I think I'm just gonna slice half of it in case we don't finish everything. It'll be easier to reheat this entire piece as one. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and just leave that as is. Drop a couple of things, so let's put that back on. Let me move this to the side so you guys can see. Look, I can't wait, oh my gosh. I think I'm gonna actually try making this with, I don't know why, this reminds me of a stromboli. So I'm thinking maybe do like a pizza type of one or maybe a Philly cheesesteak, I think will be really great. But you guys saw how easy that was. It was just a crescent roll, scrambled eggs, sausage, cheese, wrap it up, throw it in the oven, and we got an amazing breakfast, a really, really great idea. So you can serve it to maybe your friends, have for brunch, and it's, it's kind of fancy, right? So I got that, got some fruit to go alongside with it, some hash browns, and we are all set. I hope you guys enjoyed this recipe um, and this video. Hopefully you guys can join me in the kitchen again another day. Thank you and have a good day.